We frequently encounter the term of day residue and its important role in dreams. And what do we mean by day residue? It's basically the kinds of elements during the preceding day, possibly two days, that seem to somehow become incorporated into our dreams. So that if one way of possibly enhancing dream recall would be to make a review of what kind of a day you had that preceding day. Was it a good day, a bad day? And what made it particularly good or particularly bad and review that before falling asleep because it's sort of like priming the pump then once you go to sleep and then you write up your dream the next day you may find some linkages between events that happened yesterday emotions you had yesterday characters you encountered settings where you had been visiting and so forth that will come up in there and so then you can start looking at why that particular setting, why that particular person, why that particular emotion, and what linked between a similarity within your dream experience and your waking life experience. And so those connections would be called the day residue. Sometimes when people bring up a dream and they want to try and understand, but well, why would I have had Sadie Jones in my dream? I haven't seen Sadie for 20 years I haven't talked to her I haven't seen her there's been no kind of interaction at all and yet I had a dream last night and Sadie was in it so in that case I would ask you what are the qualities you most associate with Sadie was she the one who was sort of known as the richest kid back in your school was she was the one who was the slowest one in terms of not seeming to be very bright in terms of classroom assignments was she sort of the classroom flirt? Was she the teacher's pet? What are the qualities of Sadie that are so distinctive? And then when you can identify Sadie is a real clear representation or embodiment of characteristic X to try and find where that characteristic would have shown up in your day yesterday. So if she had been the teacher's pet, was there something coming up at work? you felt somebody else was getting special attention from the boss. If she was the one who was not very academically bright in class, was there somehow an encounter where yesterday you maybe did something that you felt was rather dumb or stupid, so there was a Sadie-like quality to you. So it can often be, when we say dreams are a product of day residue, then it's like, how can it be day residue if I've not had any interaction with that person for 20 years but the interaction is in terms of the concept that they represent the metaphor that they represent and whatever is that distinguishing characteristic of them that you remember from the past somehow that was represented in your kind of daily activities the preceding day